the first thing was the obvious. The 1970 run brought about something that hadn't happened since the Civil War. Uh, the President of the United States, Richard Nixon, tried to stop the American presses from printing the truth. And he took it all the way to the Supreme Court. And you can draw all the conclusions or the parallels you'd like because they're very easy to draw. The media today, the press today, honest journalism today is being attacked for what this administration doesn't like them saying. Yes, and, the truth. and the truth, which is the truth. Il Times ha 7000 pagine che illustrano come la Casa Bianca abbia mentito sulla guerra del Vietnam per 30 anni. Well, she was a woman who lived at a, at a certain time, between the time when women have very little and limited opportunities right. and to, to today where we have more and more and more. She was a pioneer and she became one of the pivot, one of the most important, iconic female figures of the 20th century. But all along she was dogged by an insecurity about her position. Che li preoccupa che ci sia una donna a capo del giornale, che possa non avere fermezza per le decisioni difficili. Grazie Arthur per la tua franchezza. I think it's very important to realize that everyone is entitled to their own opinion. Think whatever you want, draw your own conclusions, but you are not entitled to your own facts. History is history, authenticity is is uh, is the truth, and the facts cannot be argued. When you get down to the rock solid truth that is confirmable, that is provable, that will go down in history as the record, you don't get to interpret that as being good for you or bad for you. It simply is, and you must bow down to the powers of the truth. E adesso che cosa farà, signora Graham?